Hi, welcome to a calculator tutorial by Equator. In this video, we are going to see how we can use memory of this sharp ELW531TGTH and 535XG calculator. Hi, welcome to a calculator tutorial by Equator. In this video, we are going to see how we can use memory of this sharp ELW531TG. TH and 535XG calculator and in this, in this calculator we have two types of memory one is the memory that you store and recall in your calculation and there is a other memory that you can just add on top of it for example uh, let's enter uh, 2.56 into memory E in order to understand memory we have alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, X, Y, and M. These are all memories which you can access or use them. Uh, either if you want to use a memory, you use these two buttons, store and recall. And if you want to use them as a variable, you use the alpha. Now, because I want to store it as a memory, on the normal mode, I press 2.56. Now, if you want to store it in E, press STO store and then E. Now it shows that value went to E and also already converted into fraction. And now let's say store A, 32 and A. So uh, clear 32 and then store A. Now A is there. Let's store a 5.10 and F, 5.10 store F. Now this was storing. If you just want to see or do some calculation, use just recall, recall A. So this is bringing that value and then recall E brings the other value. Let's store pi times 3.8 into B. So I'm pressing pi times 3.8 and then store B. The calculated value have been stored in B. Now put 80 into C, 80, store C, the value of in store now. Now we don't have G, but here I'm just saying that you can do that now the calculation. Let's say you want to have 2E plus F plus B. The result of this, let's call it G, we, we don't have, but let's do the calculation. So in order to use them, 2, press 2, and then recall. E, you will see 2E the way that you want it, plus recall F, plus recall B. Now, this is the result of a calculation of all those values, 2 multiplied by E plus value of F and value of B. Now let's store 5.10 into X, 5.10 store and then X. Now, in order to recall X, we press recall and then press the button. Because X is in the same button, I'm pressing it again. So now this was a value from X. And uh, we had the value of 2.56. And now let's say 2E plus A. 2 recall E plus recall A. And that is the answer. If you want a decimal, press this button. F divided by 3, the same way, recall F divided by 3, and that's the value, or B plus 655, recall B plus 655. Now, let's use addition into memory. As I said, the other type of memory is that you want to add some calculation and add it, keep it and then do this calculation, add it to the result of that and do this calculation and add it on top of each. So we use M for that purpose. Make sure that we do not see M here because there is no M. As soon as you s store something into M, you will see that. So let's do this calculation. 2 multiplied by 3 plus 6. 2, uh, 3 plus 6. Now, to do M, this M plus is used for that purpose. Just 
plus and now pay attention when I press it you will see M here now M appeared on this side 8 times 2 now forget about that if you want to just recall it recall and then M that's 18 the result of this so 8 times 2 8 times 2 and then plus M and don't worry and then 5 plus 5 4 times 5 5 plus 4 times 5 and then plus now when you pr press this it just stores it and let's say you want to do some calculation and subtract it from M and uh, let's say 8 divided by 1.3 and then you want to subtract the result from memory we have M minus here for that we press second function and M minus now this has been subtracted from memory and if you want to see the final result just press recall and M and this is the final result of calculation that said this was how to use the memory feature of this sharp calculator please thumb up the video and also if you subscribe i appreciate it so you can get updates of my upcoming video